Hey guys, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health. Happy New Year, happy 2019. So today is January 1st and I am getting ready to start my long fast. So I'm not exactly sure how long I will be able to go, but my goal is at least 48 hours and then thereafter as long as I can make it. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna keep you updated I'm going to check in with you every 24 hours and let you know how things are going. If you're feeling inspired and you want to do it along with me, then that's great. If not, then just work your way into a longer fast, maybe a 24 hour to challenge yourself. Or if you're doing really well with intermittent fasting, that's great too. Uh, but if you're up for the challenge, then I say go for it and I will be keeping you posted with some tips along the way. So stay tuned. And uh, again, Happy New Year, and I will keep you posted over the next couple of days and let you know. I just finished eating my last meal a couple of hours ago, and uh, it's the first time I've had more than two meals in quite a few months in one day, so I'm really full. So hopefully going into the fast is not going to be too challenging, but we'll see how things go, and I will keep you guys posted. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, Stephanie here from Fast Track to Health. So I am now 24 hours into my first day, into my fast that is, and you probably can tell like how I look now compared to yesterday. I am feeling like a million times better. I can't even believe how good I feel right now. Um, I have like so much energy and mental clarity. Um, I was, I'm not hungry at all actually right now. Earlier in the day, I did have some hunger like around lunchtime. My stomach was growling, but I continued to drink some water and I had some tea throughout the day. And I definitely had some salt in, in my water as well. And it helped so much. And then I went to work and I was distracted, which was really good. But um, I've done 24 hour once before, but to, for some reason today I feel better than usual. And I'm very excited to keep going. So I will report back to you tomorrow and uh, let you know how things are going. I have a feeling I might not be able to sleep that good tonight because I have so much energy. It's almost eight o'clock at night and I feel like on top of the world, like I could accomplish anything. It's crazy. So um, I'll keep you posted and um, hope you're doing well on whichever fast you decided to do. So I will talk to you soon. All right, if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye morning everyone so last night i was supposed to post after 48 hours into the fast but i was not feeling really good last night i had a headache on and off most of the day so i decided to wait until this morning to recap what's going on so far so now i am past the 48 hour mark and i'm heading towards the 72 hour mark and so far so good other than the headache yesterday uh, it's gone now today, which is great. I slept well and I still have a lot of energy and I'm not hungry. So that's one of the main things that I know I can keep going at this point because the hunger has not come back yet. Still feeling really good. I'm so glad I don't have a headache. Glad to report that. So it's very common to have headaches and minor side effects when you're doing longer fasts for various reasons, detox, uh, you know different things like that electrolyte imbalances but anyway as long as you push through get hydrated i actually took a little bit of activated charcoal last night i'm sure that helped to pull out some of the toxins and it made me drink more water so anyway like i said i'm feeling better today i'm glad to report that so i'm going to keep going and see how long it will last so i will be posting again shortly hope you're doing well on your fast talk to you soon bye Hey guys, Stephanie here from Fast Track to Health. So today is day three, uh, day three of my water fast, 72 hours. I am close to approaching 72 hours. And um, as good as I'm feeling, I'm also starting to feel like it's getting time to break the fast. I'm just starting to feel a different type of hunger coming on and my body saying, I think it's time for you to eat again. So now I'm gonna start thinking about how I'm going to break the fast. So the first thing I'm going to do is have some bone broth to get my digestion running smoothly again. I'm gonna wait a little while before I start eating anything else. And then I'm gonna also have a probiotic rich food. I think today I'll probably have some sauerkraut. 
And then after that, I'm going to want to break it a little bit more with some fat and some protein. So I think eggs would be a good choice. So I'm going to have a few eggs and then I'm going to see how I feel, see if I'm still hungry, see if I need to have any more food. I'm just going to play it by ear. But in any case, like I said, I'm still feeling really good, but my body's saying, okay, it's time to start bringing things to a close. So I'm getting ready to do all that. I hope you guys um, did something to challenge yourself this year. If not, we're going to be doing this on a regular basis, so hang in there. And if you're doing intermittent fasting, I hope you're doing great with that. So anyway, I wanted to give you an overview of the last couple days and show you that fasting is safe and effective. I wasn't doing this for weight loss. I've already reached most of my weight loss goals. I was doing it more for the therapeutic benefits, for the autophagy. So I just wanted to also show you guys that it could be done by anyone and any age and any uh, sort of fitness and, uh, and weight. So I wanted to just set the example for you as well. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys are doing well with your fast and I will be checking in with you soon and talk to you later. Bye.